This is his ward, Ward 4. Next to John is Ron Starr, Ward 6. He was driving his Woody in the Paint the Town Red Parade this morning. Oh, look good on you, Ron. Matt Mahoney, Ward 8. And Pat Sato from Ward 9. The other, the other dignitaries will be introduced very soon. So Canada 150 is a tremendous opportunity to celebrate our country and our city. And as we reflect on our nation's history, Mississauga encompasses the very best of Canada. Mississauga has grown from farmland and fruit trees into a vibrant, prosperous, thriving place where so many Canadians continue to choose to raise a family, earn a well-paying job, and pursue their aspirations. Many of you know that I come from humble Polish roots. My grandparents came from Poland, and they chose Canada to raise their family. And many of you are from somewhere else as well. Please cheer if you were born somewhere else. It was an honor this morning as well at the Paint the Town Red Parade. The Syrian refugees let us off and cheered and sang Happy Birthday Canada the entire way. And they made us so proud that we were Canadian and we welcomed them to our vibrant and inclusive city. Let's hear it for our newcomers. Because Canadian cities and towns embody the very best of our country. Places where all people, no matter what faith you are, no matter what ethnicity you are, you're safe. You have dignity. You can confidently participate in our civic life. And you have yes, an equal opportunity to succeed as everyone else. An equal opportunity. It's a place where everyone is encouraged to share, to celebrate culture, their culture, for everyone to experience and enjoy. Each day I meet new Canadians and those who have Canadian lineages that predate Confederation. We meet people from everywhere. And sometimes I bring greetings in five different languages. And it's so exciting. I can say with complete confidence that embracing our diversity is the hallmark of a compassionate, confident, and thriving community. But we must continue to be relentless in our defense of our community, its values, and our people. You must have ferocious courage to act and overcome intolerance. Be that righteous neighbor, be that just neighbor, wherever you are, wherever you meet, and please have no tolerance for any intolerance. Do your part, strengthen the fabric that bonds our community. And as we look forward to our promising future, I had the honor of experiencing our 100th anniversary, our one century, and now here we are gathered for our sesquicentennial. And all the young people here, they will surely be there for our 200th anniversary. So I want you all to do your part, no matter how big or how small, to sh help shape Canada's next 50 years. So once again, we all want to wish everybody a very happy, safe, not too wet, memorable Canada Day 150. And please join me as we affirm our citizenship by reciting the great Canadian oath. So if you're not standing, please stand so that we can recite the oath. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your right hand. I swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, and that I will faithfully observe the laws of Canada and fulfill my duties citizen. Congratulations and happy Canada Day. Now they want me to do it in French. We'll give it
a shot. See if you can repeat after me. La Reine Elizabeth II, Reine du Canada, et ses héritières et successeurs que je observerai fidèlement, les lois du Canada, et que je remplirai loyalement mes obligations des citoyens citoyen canadiennes. Merci. Congratulations. Happy Canada Day.